All right, I'm Edward Pivos with MLive, and I am here at Motor City Comic Con with the one and only DMC from Run DMC and DMC from Daryl Makes Comics. Hello. So tell me about this endeavor of yours. When did you start making these? Uh, how long uh -huh. has it been an idea of yours or a dream? Well, it actually wasn't a dream. It started with a music meeting up at Atlantic Records about nine years ago. I went for a music meeting. I was meeting with a young man named Riggs Morales, who was, um, he's an a executive up at the record company. Uh, he used to be Eminem's A&R over at Shady Records. Uh, shout out to Eminem, because he's a comic book fan he's like right me. He's right by here, too. I we mean, got some, yeah, we got some in common. You're in Eminem's town. So, so, yes, I'm in Eminem's house. <laughs> Not Run's house, but I walked in the office, and um, Riggs was like, oh, my God, DMC, you was like my superhero. And long story short, he asked me, what was it like when you was a kid? I was like, well, all I used to do was read, collect, and draw comics. And when I said comics, we sat there for three hours and we talked about comics. We didn't talk about hip hop, we didn't talk about music, we talked about comics. After that, he said, you should do a comic book. And, and here we I are. said, okay, here we are, because um, I discovered comic books when I was in kindergarten, but it was in second grade when I started to read, collect, and draw, read, collect, and draw. So my whole life I've been reading, collecting, and drawing comic books. Mm. Hip hop comes over the bridge in 78 and allows me to really become a superhero on the microphone. But then Riggs said, you should do a book, D. And I was like, why? Because then he said, you could do the very same thing you've been doing with your music all these years. And I was like, what? He said, you started in hip hop, but before hip hop, it was comic books, right? But you used the music to inspire, motivate, and educate while you entertain. So um, nine years ago, Daryl Makes Comics was born because nice. Rick said, if you're gonna name your company, you can't name it Marvel, you can't name it DC, you can't name it Valiant. You gotta name you it DMC, hello, DMC, it makes total sense. Daryl Makes oh Comics. Oh my gosh, what is it about? Okay, in this universe, in this universe right here, it's an alternate universe, but in this one, Rock and roll and hip hop is my superpower, which I use to beat down the bad guys and make the world a safer place. In the DMC comic book universe, it's not the rapping Daryl. I actually graduate from St. John's University and become a teacher who discovers he has superpowers. So in this world, I was a student who discovered he had superpowers on a microphone. Okay. In, in this world, I am the most powerful entity in the hip hop universe. But in a comic book universe, I'm a teacher with superpowers. But in my book, there's rock and roll, there's punk, there's hip hop, there's classical. In my book, DMC doesn't only fight villains. He fights demons and angels and monsters. Any, everything, let me rephrase that, everything that we struggle against as superheroes and normal people, mental health issues, family issues, um, 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 emotional and physical, anything that creates adversity in any universe is what DMC fights against. Very cool. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a well, um, it's a well, it's a deep adventure. All right. I guess uh, as we leave you here, um, do you have any, do you have any M&M stories? Do you have a, do you have a cell phone hand? I'm just curious. As like, what's your M &M, connection with Eminem? Eminem's my man. Eminem, if y'all don't know, you can go watch it on YouTube. And when they said, who, who do you want to induct you into the Rock Roll Hall of Fame in 2009? Run DMC oh, yeah. said, we want Eminem. Look, I can't even say as many words or move my mouth as fast as Eminem can. Mm. But he said he was this little white kid in Detroit trying to figure out life. And when he heard a Run DMC song, it changed his life. And I said, that's a story everybody has to hear. We have a lot in common no matter where we come from. And that was the one thing that drew me to the comic books. I was this geeky, nerdy kid like Eminem trying to figure out life. When I picked up a Spider-Man comic book, Stan Lee blessed me. Not only did he give me somebody that I could look up to who was super powered, but Peter Parker is awkward. He got problems. He's trying to figure it out like me. Yeah. But the killer thing was, Stan Lee put the superheroes in New York City where I was growing up. So I didn't have to leave my block to learn about the world I lived in. All my life I was shouting out Queens, Queens on my records. Not to big up my hood. My mind was blown as a kid when I discovered Spider-Man comes from Queens just like me. 
So shout out to my man Eminem. Very cool. He's well, my friend, and he's always been. Well, thank you very much. Thank it's you. a pleasure and pleasure learning about your comic. And, thank you. Uh, enjoy your time here in Detroit. Yo, let me just say this: the Motor City Con, the Motor City Comic Con, is one of the best I've been to. And I'm Good. DMC in a place to be. I know a lot about places to be. There you go. You heard it from him.